Hello, I'm Sander Kessels from Lollibump and I want to show you the different ways to export a Flash animation to HTML5. Here we are in Flash. This is a simple timeline based animation. It contains two different uh, masks and it also contains a little animation of you see the, explosion, the explosion here that's uh, changing into Alpha Zero. If you go to the main stage, you see that I duplicated this movie clip into this movie clip and I added two filters to it, uh, a drop shadow filter and a bevel filter. Furthermore, I added uh, a, little, uh, yeah, a little script uh, logo to go to and stop 24. What this does is this particular uh, logo will stop at uh, frame 24 and that's all. So this is the how the animation should look in an SDBF file. If we export it, we are expecting to see exactly the same. If you use Adobe Wallaby to export the animation, this is the result. The masks are ignored and also the alpha animation is not done right, as you can see at the explosion. Adobe promised with uh, CS6 that you could export uh, right away from Flash uh, to uh, an HTML5 uh, animation. Well, this is what happens with this animation. Uh, as you can see, masks are not uh, exported right, uh, so doesn't the, the explosion animation is not done right. It's white, so every animation that contains alpha will turn white. Furthermore, the filter is not done right. Filter the drop shadow here was um, the whole movie clip should have a filter drop shadow and here every item within the movie clip has got the drop shadow. Finally we've got uh, Swiffy from Google. Google Swiffy can convert uh, action script uh, to and animations. Um, as you can see the uh, go to and stop to a certain frame works here. And if you export it as uh, ActionScript 2 file. Uh, furthermore, you see the whole animation works perfectly. Uh, every uh, mask is done uh, the way how, how it should uh, render, and uh, the speed of the animation is, is very good as well. Um, the only thing that, that you notice that doesn't work here are the filters, the drop shadow filter and the bevel filter don't show. But this is the browser Safari from Apple. If you look the same file in Google Chrome, you notice that the filters uh, are displayed. Only the bevel filter is not displayed exactly the same as the SWF file. But the filters do work in Google Chrome, but they don't work uh, how they should work in Apple Safari.